All right, it was the night before Christmas. Grand Market. We live all the way at Clarendon. My girl, she live all the way at Manchester. This happened a few years ago. So, we decided we're going to meet up in Mandible Town on Grand Market night so me and I can spend the first part of Christmas, you know? We make plans from in the day. In the night now, me and my cousin up on the town in a Clarendon at a Frankfield. I talked to my girl and she said, you still have come and I said, yeah man, I'm going to leave out now. It was, it was around 11 o'clock. So I approached my cousin and said, yo, follow me to Mandeville, man. I said, yeah man, no problem. As long as woman up there, I followed her. I said, yeah man, woman up there, a friend them do the man. I'm not going to care, yo. Go now and just make you stand up by yourself. And he said, alright, no problem. You head to Mandeville. You can't know when you reach Mandeville. Like the atmosphere just changed, the place just get cool. So the man start ball for cool out from, from him reach him start ball for cool. I said, no problem, brother. Woman out there for warm me up and thing, everything good. Reach man the town now. Stop off for one. You never remember which power we stop, but we stop somewhere. I'm start call my girl forget her. I ring her phone, I nah get it. I ring her around ten times, I nah get it. So I said, alright, it's so for me to open that club here. So me and my cousin will start walk towards the club. We find the club, pay for going to the club and thing. And in the club, I look, I scan everywhere I can't find her. I just couldn't find her. Couldn't find her, none at all. We did it for like two hours of search. The place is cold. We didn't have a sweater or nothing. And for my cousin, just dip on, yo, yo, the place is cold, dog. Yo, better me this tea. Clarendon, we come up here and this and that. We didn't find a woman. So I decided to say, yo, a Christmas now, we might go back to Clarendon. A woman down there, wait for him. And he's rather down there. And they're up here with me in the cold. I watch people. I cuddle up or him can cuddle up because I mean I go cuddle him up so I say yo oh, brother just go on back and clarin that I give him a fear I jump on the taxi and him cut 3 o'clock Christmas morning you know I mean I say no this I get from bad to worse how oh, she not answer the call all of a sudden walk everywhere it's like me I go through the crowd like you know in Terminator just come at earth and you know use the place and I scan everybody see them name I come up I saw me walk through the crowd and scan everybody's face. I look for my woman. I can't find my woman. Anyways, I decide to say, yo, I call her one more time. I have 2% left for my phone. I call her. It gone straight to Vice News. I say, yo, is he that battery dead? Because nothing is not come to my mind. I'm a woman that I trust her. I say, hey, yo. I call it a, a day. Go back up. Clarendon, I go to KFC, get the one piece and thing, and touch out. Them time there, the only time I used to get KFC, I when I used to go for a school trip on the car. No KFC never did near to which family. So it was a privilege to get KFC at them time. They like mother used to go to Manchester on the weekend and she used to carry back KFC, you know? I so we used to get KFC. Like, and I like no we can just boom run go out the sort of sovereign boom go up a tree and get KFC. Reaching a KFC in their pack. So I said, Jano, I don't even know the line that tore in their pack. I don't know where it starts. So I said, Yeah, I'm going to use the bathroom and just touch out. Buy a piece of jerk chicken outside. Go into the bathroom, hear yeah, man in there. Man, them trash out in them fake Gucci and <laughs> them fake Louis Vuitton. You don't know them Gucci, them, 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 <laughs> them Gucci outfit there. <laughs> Them Gucci outfit there where they come with the hat, the shirt, the shoes, the pants, all the belt, the man them have on. And it's like all the three of them and the three of them are the same Gucci outfit. It's just that the color different. I saw the man them have beat it. Anyways, more the face. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna touch the road now. So I part the crowd, I got through KFC. And then me look. I see my woman friend them. And they laugh and I get along and I see like a female sitting around the table with them and a, and a male but them back turn to me so all the, our friend them face me and see so me I say yo oh, alright see our friend them and I got so I wish them so me I go over there now and I see them I open up like them see on dopey you know when I come around the table and my woman that the next man I feed her chips the man I feed, I feed her french fries French fry and ketchup, yo. Man, I feel no one. KFC. Them put on this hypocrite, hypocrite. <laughs> them going on this hypocrite mood and them start. Like, hey, what's up? What's up? And the friend and the fan. Hey, hey. 
that's why they might look for me. And I say, a oh, long time, I'm not so you know. Oh, no, do. And I say, wow, go on, brother, big up yourself. And the man yell me up there like him, sit down and wait for him introduction, because I'm confused, you know, what's going on. So I called to my girl, and I say, oh, a long time, I'm not so you know. How have you been? And I say, brother, it's a good girl, you know. Make sure you take care of her. And I say, yeah, man, you take care of her. I say, yo, she's like my sister, you know, brother. You know how much man I look at her high school and can't get her? I miss you here so with her. Make sure you take care of her. She's a good girl, you know? Yeah, man, yeah, man. And she just the fan. She just give me that look, the like, the dead steer, like. She want, she want milk in the seat, and she don't know if you do. And I tell her inside, me a boil, you know, man. Me a boil. Anyways, it's a girl I come up and come look for. Me and her, they make plans to meet up a man with my girlfriend. Now I get to her, but she did her so. And so I go head back to Clarendon and the man say, Clarendon is from my uncle, so I see. He say, yeah, man, Dan. You really love that girl, then? He say, yeah, man, Dan. So it goes still. Anyway, I go head out now. So, anyways, ladies, take care, my G. Big up yourself. Start walk out. You ever, you ever watch the movie there? Where two persons just break up, and one walk away, and the next one they be in, and they walk away. I mean, I and I'm a weird from the call. At that, at that moment, I'm in and I walk and I say, Yo, please don't make this real, please don't make this real. I'm young here. I win. Pause. I spin my head around. When I look, Katy B that I see her when I come to me. Oh, um, I have something to tell you. This is not going to work. And I say, Jesus Christ. God, why make you send her? Why are why, why you send her if you come tell me this now? She, she already said, It's not going to work. Me and a pain woman love me. Why why I do this? I'm mean, say yeah man. Me, me realize, just big up yourself. I'm start walk again and say. Oh, I will have something else to tell her. What on earth this woman could have have to tell me now? Me see everything. Me you are cheap for me, I bad man. What could I do? Me say what? Check my virginity. No one they slap me. My, my, my belly feel weak, my lip dry, I can't taste, me, me can't taste nothing, I'm not hungry again. Like, I'm weak and I feel like I'm going to jump down. I jump in the taxi and sit down in there and the driver load. I say, Sparling, Sparling, because I have to go out at Sparling. I say, oh, no, man. I can't believe what I just, just experience, what I just see. Like, I can't believe what I hear, what I see. A woman in a KFC after me buy this outfit. My red clocks, my skinny jeans, I'm a, a man who look good and my fear chain them, them, them fear but them look good. If you come see her next man, I feed me my french fries. Then she will tell me, say, nah, go work. Then she will tell me, say, she take her virgin. I mean, never hear pastor woman have sex. Man. Everything start come back to me now. Me I say, yo, look how much woman refuse. Me, look how much woman refuse. A grand market. Don't want me to live. Just come on, see my woman, you cuddle and you know, warm up in a mandible. And she really do this to me. Anyways, a couple come in at the taxi beside me. Hug up and cuddle up on me and say, Jesus Christ, so they come in at the taxi. Taxi start drive. I go to Sparlings and boy, I kid you not, I'm not lie. At this, the, the, the driver start playing. You know them Keisha call it? Where are you? And boy, I lean up on the glass and I just look through and I think about everything. You know, when you ever watch the movie there, with the carriage driver, you lean up on the window and, and just look through and some of look through there. I wonder the moment the mean. I remember when my heart broke. I remember when I gave up. Oh, I'm bald. I'm not even go back up. At the Grand Market at Rich Franklin. I go straight to my yard. My mother did even surprise how I come from Grand Market so early because a normal day, I reach home in a Grand Market time. And yeah, that's at the end of the story. Me, me and I are, are friends now. We, we know, me not, we not carry guns. We did young and thing, and it's just an experience for me to live with. I'm glad to say how I experience something like that. You know? To give thanks. We are good friends still, you know? We 
feel the bone and they don't know and then I'm gonna hold that inside so that's at the end of the story so remember like share comment subscribe on the subscribe hit that little bell you know, hit that little bell you know, hit that you see me until next time I'm out <laughs>